OK, um, so this example, again, guys, if you remember when we were going into graphing, let's, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and I don't know why I did that. Yeah, OK. Let's go ahead and um, determine all of our important information. So our amplitude, period, x scale, um, phase shift, and vertical translation. Right? We can do this for all of our graphs. We need to at least remember all this information. Amplitude, remember, that's going to be the, uh, the half distance from the maximum to the minimum. But cotangent goes infinitely um, to infinity and to negative infinity. So we do not have a um, amplitude. Remember, period for the cotangent and tangent is just going to be pi divided by b, where b is your coefficient of your x. And in this case, that's just going to be 1. So it's just going to be pi. Our x scale is going to be, remember, your period divided by 2. You can still do it divided by 4. And for this case, dividing by 4 would probably help you because you can see that this graph is actually going to be, um, there's going to be a dilation on this. So dividing by 4 and figuring out those other two points that are not really, um, they're not really uh, your important points, but they are going to help you shape the graph. Point of ways, I'm just going to leave it as pi, pi over 2. Because again, I'm just not so much worried um, as far as those other two points. Our phase shift, remember, this is where we're going to tell us where to start. Um, our graph, even though these graphs continue on and on forever, to really, when we just want to graph one period, we're going to start with our phase shift. <laughs> so I set that equal to 0. And I could say x equals pi halves. And then our vertical translation is what we're going to be doing to adding and subtracting. Okay, So therefore, we're going to add and subtract um, 0. Okay. So now the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and, and look at what our parent graph is going to look like. So at least if I just go and draft one page of this parent graph, um, if you guys remember the cotangent graph has a period of pi, has an asymptote at 0, an asymptote at pi, pi halves, <laughs> and looks like that. That's the parent graph. That's with no transformations at all. Okay, So if I'm going to go ahead and graph this, and I'm just going to rewrite this a little bit higher. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my period at, um, at pi halves. right? Or yeah, at pi halves. So now let's go to my x scale. So my x scale is going in at pi halves. So therefore, my first point is going to be at pi halves. Pi, 3 pi halves, 2 pi. OK? Does everybody see my x scale? x scale is how I'm going to be scaling my, scaling my graph. Now, rather than starting at 0 with that first asymptote, I'm now going to start at my phase shift, which is pi halves. So now that's going to be my first asymptote. That's going to be my x-intercept. Asymptote, x-intercept. And let's do one more point, 5 pi over 2. Okay. Now, just to go ahead and sketch the graph, you could say it's going to look like this. All right. Now, what is that? What is that one fourth doing? What that one fourth is doing is that's actually going to affect the shape of the graph. It's going to make the graph much wider. So, to show exactly what that graph could look like, we could change our x scale into pi over four, plug in our points and then figure out how that 1 fourth is going to be. However, I'm not going to expect you guys um, to go and do that. I just want you guys to get the sketching of the graph done. <coughs> okay? um, but just get a sketch done, and then obviously you can use your calculator function uh, to help you kind of see more of the shape of the graph and what those points would be. Anybody have any last questions on that? Okay. Sarah, could you go outside, please? <laughs>